Hi, I'm Sean Sewell, owner of Engamert.com. This is my 500 day review on the Roof Nest Sparrow XL tent. I camp in it year round, summer, winter, right now it's spring with my dogs. There's Riley right there and our girl Chloe, who is very tired and very muddy. They camp up there with me <laughs> all the time. So I want to walk you through what I like about the tent, how I use the tent, some tips I have on how you can push the temperature of your camping. Uh, I've been down to negative 15 just last month. Out of the 500 days of owning this tent, it's been on the top of my 4Runner every day for 500 days. November of 2020 is when I picked up this one. It is April of 2022. Maybe that's 530 days. I don't know. It's over 500 days though. Of those days, 70 to 90 of them have been camping. In the snow, in the hot, in the cold, in the wet. I'm going to walk you through how I use it and hopefully you learn a few things on how you can improve your experience using a rooftop tent. In this case, the Roof Nest Sparrow XL. Okay, so as you see right here, I have the side window opened up. You don't have to use the bars all the time. Uh, it comes with six total bars. They're all the same size. I have four being utilized. Two right here on the rear door or window, and then two right here on the entrance that I will be using. And then walk around here. I have that as the head of the tent, and I have it opened up all the way. Here in about an hour, when that storm hits, I will close up that the far side and i will do the mesh up on this and i'll have this only open probably a third or a quarter of the way i'll have this guy open though but you can bring these guys down to to here so there's a little nubbin right there and you can bring the the awning down to there and that way you still circulate air but you're not getting wind or potentially if things are going sideways literally keep moisture out of the tent the ladder has been great no issues with it. Um, if I'm camping in a sandy area like Lake McConaughey or on a beach or something, I'll make sure that the sand and debris and dirt doesn't get into the joints. I just simply take my hand and wipe it. Not take a brush or anything special, just my hand. If it's cold, maybe my gloves. That's it. So you see here, there are three sets of those around the tent. I cannot utilize the rear runs on a 4Runner or a vehicle like this. You may be able to, depending on your vehicle. If so, more power to you. I don't have the awning pulls in on this guy because as you can see, it would run into this awning. So it's not that big a deal, but I just simply roll it up right there. There are hooks on both sides, one for the mesh and then one for the doors. All right, let's go inside. I'll show you what I'm working with. And all this stuff stays in inside the rooftop tent. This ladder lives up there. Everything I'm about to show you lives up there. All right. Voila. <laughs> Welcome to our setup. I always keep two Thermarest compressible pillows. These guys, you can use your home pillows. They flatten out really well. I store them right there. And then the ladder goes right here. One for my wife, one for myself. This is a 20 degree down quilt. Particular brand is Timorest. The Vela is the model. I love this thing. And a 20 degree two person sleeping bag. This is what I usually use for temperatures down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit or so for below 15, which I often camp in. I will add a third layer, a quilt usually. Another 20 degree quilt usually does it. And I actually keep all three layers up here. So three sleeping bags or quilts, two pillows, the ladder, and then these little lights, I, I taped them up there with tenacious tape and there's a USB battery in this bag. Comes with two bags. Somehow I lost the second one, but I only really use this one. And in there I have a USB battery pack to power these lights that I mentioned. And I simply use tenacious tape because I like tenacious tape. It's clear, it's really strong and sticky and the lights work really well. But it's not dark, so I don't have them on yet. As you can see, it's a very nice layout. I am six foot one, 210 pounds. My wife and I and our two 65 pound dogs fit up here, which is pretty awesome. I have, like I mentioned, this window open, 
there is mesh for all four windows. If I have it open just to simply bring in more light so I can shoot this video. But after I shoot this video, I will close them up. And like I mentioned, only have this door open about a third of the way. And I will have this window open about a third of the way. And yes, I do sleep right here. And yes, it does get cold. I've camped, like I said, down to negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And tips I have for that. It's not just the sleeping bags. Um, and it's not just the rooftop tent, which does a really good job of keeping more insulation than a single wall tent or a camping tent, two wall tent. I wear a beanie, uh, usually wool beanie. I wear down booties, a down puffy jacket, 800 fill, usually six to eight ounces of down, which is pretty significant. You could just use two, two down jackets if you don't have one that significant and down pants or synthetic puffy pants. That's my layering system. It's helped me go down to negative 15 degrees repeatedly. And the reason I like to camp in the, the cold is because I love snow and I love split boarding and backcountry skiing. And this, the rooftop tent has allowed me to show, well, I'm at a trailhead right now. I won't tell you which one. Um, I like to show up to trailhead the night before, have a burrito, have some drinks, watch uh, something on the iPad or do some, some client notes and wake up, do a dawn patrol. And then I get back into town a really reasonable hour and get to work. And I'm very happy because I got to camp, <laughs> thanks to the rooftop tent. And I got to go backcountry um, snowboarding, split boarding. Makes me very, very happy. So this is my setup. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of insight into how we operate and what we do with the stuff. Maybe it gives you an idea of some gear to pick up or how to utilize your rooftop tent. In this case, the Roof Nest Sparrow XL. Um, I, I can't, recommend a rooftop tent, in this case, Roof Nest Sparrow, enough. Um, it's allowed my wife and I and my two dogs, <laughs> Riley over there, to adventure on a whim. Everything's already packed. You don't have to bring anything extra. Well, we have a, I have a cooler. I'll show you what I keep in the trunk and I'll do a video on that separately. Got the Dometic cooler and the Gold Zero battery. Got my split boarding boots, backcountry stuff. That may be water, that may be adult water, who knows? And then all the split boarding gear snacks dog food extra pillow in case i want extra support i'll get into that in another video but the long and short of it is rooftop tent really allowed us to do a lot of adventures on a whim i didn't know i was gonna go camping tonight i got the okay i needed five minutes notice that five minutes was to uh, make some sandwiches for tomorrow and make sure i've got dog food and water for my dogs other than that i was ready to go again thanks to the convenience of a rooftop tent boom um, roof nest makes some great ones. I have not tested the metal ones yet. That's what I'm going to test next. I like this plastic ABS construction because it has the ability to store all that sleeping stuff in there. However, the new one that they just came out with, I saw Tim put a video up, has me really interested. So hopefully I'll do that one next because I'll get the benefits of the metal construction with um, being able to keep all our stuff up there. Oh, as a teaser, I don't know if I can get all the way up there, but I have a solar panel on the roof. A couple of them actually. And that's how we power our, our fridge, our computers and cameras. Cables come down into here. It's a whole thing, I'll show you later. Hopefully seeing this in 500 days of use on top of the truck, 70 to 90 of them camping, seeing how we camp. Uh, this is mild snow weather, but still it's in the snow and it works really well. This is Sean Sewell with InGamer.com. If you have any questions, I hope, I hope you do, put them in the comments below. If you found this helpful, thumbs up, be appreciated. If you want to see more content like this, more videos on camping and splitboarding and learning more about roof nest, rooftop tents, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay up to date. From my family to yours, until next time, take care.